On today's episode of Watch Jericho, you guys know the drill. We are here in beautiful Longmont, Colorado at O'Reilly's. <laughs> we needed parts. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Jergo, and like I said, we're here in Longmont, Colorado working on the Atom and there's three bolts left on the intercooler and the thing about the Atom is all the Honda stuff is fully metric as you would expect, but the car is all American as you would not expect. I do not know why it has SAE fasteners on it. I very much wish it did not, but we're going to pick up some SAE nuts so we can put everything back together and hang the exhaust. So uh, hopefully I'm just picking up a couple bolt kits, one metric, one SAE. Let's do it. This is good metric SE and stainless and we're good all kinds of bolts what's up guys morning these guys went wild while we were gone i got one axle in <laughs> started stabbing the axles yeah we got hopefully enough nuts and bolts to get the intercooler mounted Very, yeah that should do it i was like we'll take all of them <laughs> all right obviously there was one problem left last night that was a major issue and it's fixed now we had six hands in 45 minutes but that's how it took it. to get it done. Uh, the axle, the literal axle, had like a spline, a male-to-male -male spline in it that's epoxied in from the factory. It had fallen out, gone forever. No one knows. It might have fallen out on the road. It might have fallen out at the shop. I just don't know. Oh, it's in here. I got it. And what we ended up doing was taking a RSX axle, right? Yep. And putting, go for it, go for it, man. Putting a new cup on there, and now it's all back together. But the thing is, you can see that speed sensor right there, that Hall effect where the wires are coming up. It needs a magnet. It references that for the speed. So, uh, here's the old one. I'll see if I can show you the magnet. Right there. There's the magnet. It's incredibly strong. It has to be drilled and epoxied into the cup. But that is the last thing. Everything else is on here. Obviously, we know it runs. We're ready for coolant fill. Yeah. Brent and Kyle just torqued the wheels, so that's good. Good to go. And, uh, man, we, we're home free. We really are. Like, we could drive it now. We just need the magnet. Yep, the magnet. That'll, I think that's just the dash speedometer. So I think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. Because the yeah. factory one's still in the transmission and still wired up. So. And that's what the ECU should be referencing. Yep. So, that's good. We're sitting at like 1,100 RPM right now, not running. It, it's, it's running right now. <laughs> and I know so quiet. Yeah. yeah. Almost sounds like a buzz in the background. It's so right. Weird. All right, we're going to take it out for the first test drive here. We're going Brent's, in. Brent's going in. I'm going in. Going in. All right, me too. Let's do this. It goes nothing. I should have <laughs> mentioned unbuckle first. We got this. Ah. Woo. Child. This is a very easy car to get in accessible for pretty much everybody. Honda only wishes their cars had ergonomics like this from the factory. <laughs> One day they'll get it. One day. Well, let me wash the windshield. <laughs> First drive complete. We put like three or four miles on it, which as far as I'm concerned, and I think we're all concerned, it's broken. Totally broken. Uh, we've got a little bit of oil to add here. So we're gonna give it. 
Oh, did you guys go looking for us? Yeah, we were gonna go take your glasses. <laughs> oh, okay. And film a little. The whole time we were there, we were like, glasses would be cool. <laughs> Look, couldn't see front. anything. Fun first drive. It's what I remember. The only time I've ever driven the car on the road, because I've, I told Brent, I've only got two miles on the car total, Literally. down the half mile four times, and on the fourth one, that was it. So, this time it's gonna be a lot better. So you've already got more miles on it than ever. Yeah, yeah. We went. I guess we went four miles. So uh, that's way more than I had on it before. Yeah. We're up 200%. It's, real good. it's so smooth. We got a little O2 correcting going on, but we'll yeah. tighten that up and we should be able to get it. With the new fuel pump, it was trying to clamp down on the injectors, we think. Uh, it, it was running just fine. AFR was like 14.2 while we were just chilling. But uh, it was trying to bog because drivability issues with that huge pump and those exact same injectors. I Grab our tuning cable out of the mobile workbench. There we go. Honda. -da. We'll hit the switches here. Ignition. Okay. And signal. Negative. Oh well. Don't worry about those things. Oh no, the front one's flashing. Okay, so the front one flashed. I think we might have uh, messed up the rears, or they might not be hooked up. Yeah, so it flashes cool. like eight or ten times. Other one works. Does that one work? No. Okay, let's try brake lights. Brake lights? No. no. <laughs> oh well, nobody needs any of that. Strapping the aerial down. We got Brent in the cockpit. In the yes, hot sir. seat. The hot seat. Getting the flash bro loaded up here. And it's, it's about time to make some noise. I know, I'm so excited. Oh, here, do you want some power? Yes. Here you go. So we make guess, them talk. We should get a light here. Oh, data log light. Cool. That's what this is, a 2000-2011 Civic Si. That's what it is. <laughs> Fuel is now leaving the Atom, unfortunately. These guys wanted E85 in it, so they're getting it. <laughs> I wanted my 91, or 109, I don't care what. But everyone knows E85 is the power move. So we're gonna run the cheap race gas. Peer pressure. pressure. Peer pressure. Way safe. Everybody, it is safe, it is safe. Brent is flashing the new E85 to him. Yes, sir. And excited. Now, <laughs> now it's completely full of 85. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it needs like a switch though. Yeah. It needs a flex fuel sensor. That's what's next. We're gonna have to put a flex fuel sensor on it. That would be ideal. I'll uh, pay 10 to what percentage is so it'd be like a quick install. Awesome. Awesome. Those two do not agree. Now they do. <laughs> Take a second. <laughs> the injector duty cycle was 2%, if you saw that. It's not even running. <laughs> All the power. One pound? One pound. 
got some work to do. Okay, a couple little modifications. Uh, one clamp moved a little bit, and we checked over all of the lines again. The last pull we made 184 horsepower was in a... After a quick intermission and a quarter hour run to Harbor Freight, we uh, sucked the cooling system down with the vacuum tool and uh, at least we hope got all the air out of the system. The hoses were crushed, which is a good sign. And Jamie was like, it's not enough wastegate spring either for a race car. So <laughs> there's more in there. He's <laughs> Jamie's big on boost I'm not, control. I can't hang out with you anymore. Because everything's everything's way too fast. I don't get it. You know? <laughs> It's put the 85 and it's whole wastegate spring. Yep. So it's got a red and a black wastegate spring in it now instead of just the red. And be about 10. Yeah. 10 on wastegate? Yeah. And then we can turn it up from there. So, it's go time. Brent's uh, retuning, so it's just sitting on the gate instead of using yeah, the boost control. Yeah, took the boost control out of it, flashing that, and I'm gonna rip. It's gonna make way too much power. <laughs> Ten pounds? But instead of it being in linear, it was ten pounds it's the entire time. The whole time. I gotcha. So you have a power band. So the Atom was spinning on the dyno. Uh, they're gonna spray the tires down with Super 77. That's almost a hundred more than before. 16 pounds. 16 pounds. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did we lose any coolant? No. no. Ah, yes. She went that many, but she stopped. Jamie, I think you got it so sticky it pulled the strap loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That's ridiculous. So easy. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
That's only pull like three, right? There was like a warm up. There was like a test pull. Yeah, and like the third one. So that's it actually hooking and going. Wow, because you don't really see a boost difference until up here. Eighty percent. So we're going to be running out if we push much farther, huh? Yep. Yeah, I mean, they're 1,200, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the 450 pump help. Yeah. 540's well, epic. The probably got us our pressure pretty stacked. A what? Our said our, the 450 pump probably has the pressure pretty high. We oh. don't know what it is. Sure. But I'm sure with the size of the return line and stuff that it's oh. it's up there. Yeah, it's up there. That return yeah. line's tiny. Right. It can't push any fuel. Right, through. and that's, yeah. why, that's why we're getting away with what we're Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, because it's like quarter inch or less. It's, yes, yeah, tiny. 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 But, yeah, she rips, man. She rips. <laughs> 540 rips. horse, 16 pounds. I mean, 13 that... degrees of timing. <laughs> it is. So safe. I can put another three degrees in that area, too, and probably get that 600. Get the 600? It probably could be. I mean, or close to. It's already ridiculous. Yeah, this. <laughs> the power to weight is. So are we putting three degrees in it, or it's am I wild. Just spraying the nitrous? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's turning I heard it up. Six hundred. <laughs> did someone say twenty two? <laughs> put twenty. He did. Brent did say put twenty twos in it. I, I thought we might have to. That's a real thing. Really pretty good. I yeah. Think it'd take three more degrees. It would. I mean, I'm happy. Yeah, I figured. I figured. <laughs> You're stoked. I mean, that, that kind of power in a car like this. Insane. That is wild. No two sensors are all working good. Are they? They're both yeah. holding up? Yeah, they're both holding up. This one I've been, or is the one I've been watching under full throttle. Yeah. Now, light throttle, they both match, and the correction's all good. Under full throttle, this one pigs out. Okay. And that one says cool, so I'm kind of facing off that one. Gotcha. Because I trust those ones. But. Yeah, it's just the visual gauge makes yep. you trust it. Yep. That's what it is. Yeah. And I've done so many with this style that that's the one. That exact one. Like I got we it. use that on everything. Okay. Okay. And if you look at my tracer, so you can see in the graph. You want to grab that fan real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the graph it says 10.42, you know, in yeah. that area it's kind of rich. Super rich. But if we go to the tracer, I'm reading 11.4s, which, which is, is this like is that. what I was seeing on this. Okay. So I'm kind of trusting what's up. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, two, two out of three things match. Cool. Two yeah. out of three things. Yeah, I love That's it. What you go so cool though. It is. 540 horsepower. I think it's time. We're like 500 would be cool, yeah. you know. <laughs> 600 horsepower go kart. Literally. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't even imagine. I think. Well, we need to put on some glasses and go drive. <laughs> It's time to make some street drive. I probably agree with that, honestly. <laughs> You're like, I got you. Glasses are here. Brent's flashing it one more time to add some uh, fun features, like change the boost by gear a little bit. Yep, I'm taking some out for first gear. <laughs> so, first so it's gear not does wild. I need 540 horsepower. Yeah, that's for sure. First gear needs to ease it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, oh, yep. She's live. Oh man, we're gonna throw so many rocks. Look how sticky these things are. We're gonna just chuck rocks around. They are sticky. We're so, out yeah, we're gonna go drive this thing again. Flips are right here. <laughs> go for it. You don't wanna keep this in the same spot. You just kinda clip the front rear end high. Give it a wiggle and it'll shut down the steering wheel. Oh, huh? I was like, it's not perfect. There. There it is. Yeah. The funniest thing, first we went out. You need to leave him here. He's hilarious. I know, made, he's great. Made some pulls. Brent Brent had some fun, I hope. Oh man, it was amazing. We Thank could, you for that. We could see this time. This this <laughs> Yeah, time. we had sunglasses. But when we pulled out of the parking lot with all the sticky on the tires, we were watching rocks like a waterfall of them shoot over the tire <laughs> as it, it threw them. Literally behind you in the truck, it looked like you had flaps on the tire about that tall. Just <laughs> flopping. Like straight oh. like sand runner tires. That's crazy. That was great. What a what a car. It is it is a wild machine, that's for sure. Well, time to put the wild. nacelle back on here. I've got it with me. 
I'm gonna throw my laptop on real quick. Fix the idle. Yep. Or make it better. Make it better. It likes to die when you come off throttle. All right, man. One of my subscribers sent that in the car. He brought that to the warehouse and asked me to have you sign it. That is awesome. Or the whole team. He wants everybody to sign it. All right, so, let's do it. Scribble, let's decorate this thing. This does too? Yeah. yeah. I mean, those, those things that I typed actually will. Yeah. I gotta have more. Yeah, buddy. Sean? Oh. Let's get the whole team out. Yeah, man. What did I go to see? Goof. Gordon. We need you guys to sign things. Huh? Oh. We're, all, we're signing things. Oh, awesome. Woo. Yeah, that's cool. Catch. Oh. 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 I tried. Oh. Come on, get that elbow quick. Fit moving quicker. That was quick. Just Gordon, Gordon. That's it. That's the one. Yeah. The one. It's all here. NASA employee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, nothing special. At least you can read Spaceship it. Spaceship sends only. <laughs> or dope. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Or yeah. dope. Gordon. Gordon. Hopefully, this guy's pretty pumped. That's your print, he asked me to bring this well, to you for like, else, so I don't know, so many times. That is cool. <laughs> James Doc. is like a doctor <laughs> Yeah, we appreciate it so much. Oh, absolutely, dude. Thank you. Just having you guys out here has just been a special well, treat. It's, it's a been blast. fun. It's a blast. It's awesome. Well, Jamie, thank you. Anytime, man. For helping me make dumb decisions yeah. I didn't want to make. I'm always here for that. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to run E85. They did it to me. I'm just trying to get Remember the yellow handle. The yellow handle. The corny one. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank Have you. a good one. Thank you. Thank that. you. That was Hello, guys. Thank you. Oh, man. This oh, was... hey, thanks a lot. You, uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you, doctor, <laughs> doctor, doctor, doctor. It's a meeting of the doctors, obviously. It's fantastic. <laughs> it was actually nice. We didn't bring any tools. You had yeah. all the tools? Yeah, we got it out. Works out. We figured it out. Yeah. You just needed one Kyle. One Kyle. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Well, we are heading home. It is uh, 5 p.m. And we'll be home at 3 to 4 a.m., possibly 5. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're, we're going to get out there. For sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had to escape from PFI speed in a hurry because the rain is coming down. And I didn't want the car to be in too much rain. And then we have a tarp. And I, I think we all agree that like tarping it is always worse because the wind gets under the tarp and starts beating things up. And there's really nothing you can do to like really fix it. So we, we had to bounce real quick. But again, huge thank you to PFI speed and the guys. <laughs> It makes the number 540 and that was like we never made another poll. We just like oh, yeah 540 looks good We got to go because we had a time crunch today. All of us knew that it had to get done in a hurry. So uh, Off to Adams to pick up some sauce for some people Kyle Eric all kinds of people and uh, Then head home no more mountains. The mountains look incredible in the rain. The mountains look so good. Can you see them? Oh, we can't see them. Dude, it's like a watercolor up there right now. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. We got some food. Mm -hmm. Food break. We went to Adam's. That was uh, that was good. That was expensive. I was buying presents for other people. And um, we're, we're headed back towards Kansas now. So anyway, the Adam, it's on the trailer. I had a chance uh, here at the restaurant to run back there with some trash bags, bag the filter on the turbo. We wanted to bag the seats, but honestly, I don't think this, the bags will stay on the seats. No. So I needed bigger trash. I've got 33s that I keep in the truck with zip ties to bag things in emergencies. I don't have trash bags that big. So seats are going to get wet. That is it for today, guys. Hopefully your seats don't get wet. Don't forget to head over to shopwatchjerrica.com where you can get cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Again, huge thank you to Brent and the PFI Speed crew. Dude, those guys are so and, freaking cool. Oh, yeah, the coolest. And... Um, we we're heading home now. We gotta come back. That's what we need to come back. I need to buy something. Hondas. The Adam is home, and you guys already know what that means. It means the F 250 made it back. That's a thousand plus miles knocked out right there, F 250. Almost 1500. So, uh, not bad. No issues with the truck other than uh, we drove into some massive rainstorm and the active cruise control decided it wasn't going to work anymore but it came right back after the rain stopped so uh trucks here adam is inside oh baby it's not mine don't worry but these two look good together
the two fast ones. That side of the shop's looking real good too. Oh snap! 